in this beautiful book you find uh, many many schematics uh, it is very expensive but on the other hand it's well worth its money I cannot go into details uh, so much information so much good information etc etc so I can advise to buy it anyway in that book I found a schematic of a constant current source and the principle of such a constant current source is in fact very simple though in practice uh, it's not simple say you have to keep in mind um, many say kind of electronics laws anyway this is a principle uh, there are two resistors here in a lead where current flows positive negative of course the current flows from, from negative to positive but anyway there are two resistors and when you hold um, a constant voltage over one of the two resistors in that lead the current will not change even when um, the uh, input voltage here is changed and because we have here, have here a vo uh, voltage regulator a 7805 it will hold the uh, voltage constant over parallel to this resistor and talking about a uh, constant current sources of course there's an influence from the load uh, in the ideal situation you can shortcut the load and the current stays constant but the, there's also say uh, a maximum um, resistance where this circuit uh, still wants to work or does not want to work and I've made the whole circuit in practice here the 7805 uh, here a resistor of 22 ohms and uh, I have also by purpose mounted some LEDs to make uh, it better visible what is happening in the circuit at the moment we are on 28 volts and the current is here and the current is constantly approximately 200 milliampere the voltage drop parallel to one of the uh, series resistors in the load that is in fact this resistor it's 22 ohms that's here 22 ohms here and uh, the voltage regulator is able to keep that voltage voltage constantly 5 volts parallel to the um, to the circuit that means that there is a constant current flowing so I want to show the principles we now go to 35 volt that's the absolute maximum voltage that this circuit can handle that has to do with the properties of the 7805 uh, well it stopped that's not good I think it burned out anyway uh, that was more or less say the safety uh, circuit that is uh, built in inside the 7805 so let's keep it a little bit more moderate let's go to 28 volts uh, we still see 200 milliampere we see 5 volts and uh, interesting to tell perhaps 
that that, that had also to do with my experiment. Uh, the heatsink is now extremely hot. The resistor is not so hot and the reason is that there is a constant voltage drop and a constant current. So we know exactly how much um, watts are dissipated in this resistor. Here we don't know that. Anyway, of course you can measure it, etc. Well, um, the schematic again, how it was made. And I mounted a few uh, light emitting diodes in the circuit uh, so that it is possible to see what happens. The 7805 on an endless heatsink, very important. A few light emitting diodes here. The, here we show the uh, input voltage. Here we show that there is a current flowing. When a current is flowing, there is a voltage drop of constantly 5 volt, approximately parallel to this resistor. That means that we can make a LED light up. And here at the output, a LED. And the idea is that when there is no load uh, connected, that this LED will light up. And I will demonstrate that. Let's for safety go back to approximately, and not real safety, but that the uh, 7805 doesn't get too hot. Let's go to 18 volts. It works between 12 and approximately 30 volts, 18 volts. And here you see that LED that is showing that the current is flowing. When I disconnect this lamp, this is my load, by the way. It's a, a bicycle lamp. So when I disconnect that, the blue LED lights up. Lamp is out, no current flowing. Voltage goes up at the output, and that's very important to tell. Uh, be careful, for instance, here, with no load with no lamp or whatever, could be a nickel cadmium cell. Uh, that is, by the way, not my advice to, to, to um, connect here a nickel cadmium cell. But uh, because uh, when the current into such a nickel cadmium cell keeps flowing, it can get defective. Perhaps in a worst case scenario even explode. So no nickel cadmium uh, charger but for, say, all kinds of other purposes where you need um, something, an electronic circuit that has to have it, its constant current even when the voltage changes. So, uh, that was the demo of this LED. This is the demo of the first LED. It's a little bit fake. It shows that uh, there is an active voltage at the input. Here is the uh, voltage regulator. Here is the resistor. Quite warm. Perhaps even 10 watt is better, but anyway. So you see again that the current stays constant when the voltage changes. Now we are on 19 volts. Now we are on 12 volt. The circuit starts to work on approximately 12 volts. When you uh, lower the voltage, the current will drop. You can see it here. 6 volts, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Still a little bit, <coughs> a little bit here. So, in fact, that's quite good. Now we are on nine volts. What does it, what does it give? Here we can read it. Well, even on nine volt, it's on approximately eighty milliampere. Sorry, hundred and eighty milliampere. So, it means that it works 
quite good. Now to the maximum voltage again. Let's keep it safe on 28 volts or so. And the current stays exactly the same on approximately 180 milliampere. The voltage drop parallel to the 22 ohm resistor is the same. That's of course as long as the uh, voltage regulator is healthy. So I did one other experiment. I bridged this uh, 22 ohm resistor with a 15 ohm resistor here. And of course in that case the current will go higher. You can surely see it. The current is now approximately uh, my meter cannot cannot uh, show it easily, but perhaps it's visible here. Approximately 600 milliampere, still a 5 volt voltage drop. That's not bad. Uh, and we are on 25 volts. Let's see what happens when we go to 12 volts. The circuit was made, so you can see here that the current stays quite constant. Uh, by the way, doing this uh, was only an experiment and you can do that experiment also to get a good insight in this circuit. Thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat. Principle is simple, practical consequences are perhaps not always very uh, easy to understand when you, when you really work with such a constant current source. And be careful with no load, the voltage jumps up here at the output to say the input voltage could be 25 volts or 18 or 24 volts. And the principle again. Thanks for watching.